It's space weather! Looking at the Ghost 14 X-ray image. Why are we doing that? Well, there's a reason for everything. There's an awful lot of X-ray activity emanating from the northeast limb of the sun, despite there being absolutely no sunspots there. A little bit more X-ray than we would expect. Also, let's revisit yesterday's total electron count. This thing snaps like a rubber band. you'll see this red come down like this. And that's off the scale amount of electrons. And then all of a sudden, poof, it snaps back into the measurable range. Very interesting. Didn't really see that represented on the GOES electron flux image too much. Uh, but it, And it looked like all the stations went offline too. Right at that same time, that was yesterday afternoon right when we made that that brief update. Moving on, we also got a 6.8 magnitude earthquake in the Mediterranean Sea off of Greece, followed by a giant earthquake swarm. Pretty uncommon. This happens to be the antipode of Fiji, by the way. So, <clears throat> when you have a 600 kilometer deep series of earthquakes going on, you can get earthquakes on the other side of the planet. Perhaps that's what we saw here. Unfortunately, the earthquake risk for other places, such as California, and I'm not sure about the South Pacific, but uh, if you're on earthquake alert, Keep your eye out because it has not ended yet. Taking a look at the sun in 304 angstroms. And see this gigantic filament that went flying off yesterday. On the southeastern limb. And there it goes. Some of it ended up back on the sun. Some of it ended up out in space headed to the southeast of the of the earth not at the earth and let's take a look at the magnetic lines and what's interesting is the southeast portion look at the sheer density of these magnetic lines over here that's a lot of lines whereas the northwest portion, this area over here, looks a little more normal. So we've got very dense magnetic fields in the south southeastern portion of the sun. And there is an incoming coronal hole also. So, again, that earthquake risk isn't going away. Let's look at spaceweathernews.com. Look at the data. No significant uptick in the x-ray flux, but that minor x-ray area coming out of the southeast is very interesting. I mean the north northeast. You can see the... Actually, let's look at the solar wind, the real-time solar wind real quick. We've got a very high BT right now. So that's probably an indication of those very strong magnetic fields. The phi angle seems to be returning to around the 140 area. We've got a solar wind density of 5.09 protons per cubic centimeter. Very low solar wind speed of 356, which all sounds pretty reasonable to me. And the breakdown of the rest of the data is as follows. Kind of an odd spike in the magnetometer there. Probably an indication of those strong magnetic fields on the southeast limb. I'll keep an eye on that, though. That 
Not sure what that's going to do, although I'm expecting that to go up. I'm expecting the, the next peak to be more around 150 nanotesla as opposed to 120 nanotesla where it's been going. KP index is back down to 1. Now, that very high electron count that we saw yesterday on the Space Enthusiast dashboard, the U.S. map, probably that right there. What's interesting about that is that those aren't that high of a level. I mean, we've seen these well above 10 to the 5th in the past few weeks. So, going to keep an eye on the electron count. The ionosphere map is back to a normal charge level. And there are your auroras. Hey, thanks again, subscribers. If you haven't subscribed yet, please uh, like, subscribe, share the videos on your social media. Daily updates. And if you're in an earthquake-prone zone, have an earthquake plan. Just planning to have a plan is better than having no plan. So, in any case, stare at the sun with us because we ain't going blind. Also, may the wind be at your back and the atherosclerosis absent from your arteries.